Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. In many games, you have seen there is a cool feature where the player can look at objects in the environment, which makes the world feel more interactive and immersive. It's a simple touch, but it adds so much to the gameplay experience. Today, we are going to implement this exact same feature in Godot. I will be using the same project from my last video, so no need to start from scratch. I will explain everything step by step so it's easy for you to follow even if you haven't watched my previous video. But if you need more context, feel free to check it out. I am using Godot version 4.3 and just a quick note that the look at object feature was actually removed around Godot version 4.0. So we will be building this ourselves from scratch. To make it easier to understand, I have split the video into two parts. The part 1 will contain the player to directly look at objects. The part 2 will be smoothly rotating the head towards an object. So now let's see how we are gonna implement this look at feature. I will just demonstrate you with this rough sketch. So imagine this is our player and this is the look at object. So basically Godot does not have the inbuilt option to directly make the bone look towards an object. So now to solve this issue, we will basically create a dummy node. So that's not going to interact with anything. Then we'll just say the dummy node to look towards this object. And then we will get the rotation of the dummy node and set it to our neck. So basically, if our object moves from here to here, then we just say the node to look towards the object. So basically, when the node look towards the object, it will have some rotation. So we just basically grab the rotation of the bone and assign it to the neck of our player. So by doing this, we always make sure that our player is looking at the object and we just grab the rotation from here and we always set our player's head rotation towards the object. Alright, now we have one more visual diagram to make you understand what we are going to use to make the rotation of our bone. So imagine this is our player and our player has the dummy node somewhere here. So basically this is a top view and the player's forward direction is going to be 0 degree and the left side it's going to be 90 and for the right side it starts from 360 to 270 so if we use the lerp function which we always use then for an example we are at 90 degrees basically this side and we suddenly rotate our camera towards here so what does lerp do basically lerp rotates from 90 to 270 in the increasing order so basically our player will be looking towards this axis all the way until it starts rotating here and we don't need this rotation because we don't need our player to rotate in this way and his head is always gonna be clamped so what we want is players head rotation to rotate like this so let's imagine one more use case and the use case is if our player is looking at here or at this rotation and what if we suddenly rotate our look at object here so now again basically this rotation is gonna be somewhere around 290 and again if you use lerp then it's gonna convert from 290 to somewhere around 80 in decreasing order so basically it's gonna go 270 250 200 and 150 something like that and again it's gonna rotate all the way around this and this means that our player heads is always gonna be looking at this axis and until it meets over here and then again suddenly it turns to this point. So I hope you're getting what I mean to say. So now what should we use other than lerp? So in Godot there is one more inbuilt function so that's basically lerp angle. So now what lerp angle do? It basically solves our issue. So if our player is looking here and then we suddenly rotate our camera somewhere here so rather than taking this axis it's gonna directly take the small step so that's basically rotating in this way so to clear demonstrate let me show you one more diagram and this is the cool definition of what lerp and lerp angle do okay so now we are in godot and this was the scene where we left previously in my video so 
let's open up our character and here we will add a marker 3d node so this will be acting as the bone for our neck so let's quickly rename it to neck then in the main scene select the camera and here let's add a mesh instance 3d so this will be our look at object and let me assign a box mesh with the size as 2 all right so now if you select your camera and drag it up you can see it's facing in minus z axis so we will just drag and drop our object somewhere here so basically here will be our camera and at the center will be our player and this will be the look at object and let's even rename this to be look object so now it's time to jump to our script so in the script the code i will be writing for this video will be written down over here so that you don't get confused with my previous code and the new code all right so at the beginning let's create few variables so these are the four variables basically three of them are referencing for our node so this will get the reference for our neck bone and the look at object so basically currently we are here in our script and we just get a parent by double dot forward slash and then we go to our camera and then we just direct go to our look object for the skeleton i just directly referenced from my scene and i just created a new variable called new rotation so this will basically store the quaternion rotation of the marker so let's now create the function to actually rotate our bone so the function i created is look at object with the parameter delta and here we basically get the index of our neck bone so if you don't know what's exactly your index or if you don't know what's the name of your neck bone so first let's quickly disable the animation tree so that we can see what's actually happening so select your skeleton and then if you select any of your bone you can see it gets highlighted so if i select my neck bone and try to rotate my head you can see this is the actual bone that's handling the rotation of the head all right so the name of the bone is mixamo underscore mixamo rig underscore neck so make sure you spell the name correctly and then we just say our marker to look at our look object with the vector 3 as up so basically i'm saying the y direction is upward and the last parameter is true then we just create the rotation from our marker 3d to a quaternion so if you see here the neck bone basically requires a quaternion rotation so we just convert it then we just set bone rotation of our neck bone to our new rotation now let's call this look at object in the process function so if you try to call it in the physics process it's not gonna work right so in the process function i just call the look at object and before we start make sure again you set your animation tree as active and one more thing is select the process in the thread group make sure the group is set to main and the message for process is turned on all right it's time to run our scene so now you can see our player head is rotating towards the object all right so it's time to clamp the head bones rotation so to clamp the rotation in the look at object we create a couple of variables so first one is we get the rotation of our neck marker and then we basically clamp our neck bones rotation to minus 90 to plus 90 next we clamp our y rotation from our marker rotations y to minus 20 and plus 20 so rather than setting the 20 as numbers you can create a variable and assign it over here so i just assigned the variables to 90 and 20 and i just wrote the names over here all right so now neck bones rotation has been clamped so it's time to quickly smoothen up the bone rotation so for smooth bone rotation well if you don't see what's happening in the code let me just quickly make it bigger so i just forgot to tell this code so we are just converting our rotation degrees 
to radians and then we are just assigning it to a quaternion so basically a vector 3 and then we just convert the x and y not the z because we don't want to rotate our head in z axis so just two of the degrees and we convert it to a quaternion all right so now let's smoothly rotate the bone for that let's create a new variable so basically the variable is bone smooth rotation and for the function just add another piece of line so basically we use the lerp angle from our current bone smooth rotation so i did not assign any value all right so from our current bone smooth rotation towards our rotation degrees dot y so basically lerp angle requires parameters in radians so we just convert it to radians with the speed and also here we just converted the values to radians so ne no need to again convert it here and then we just set our bones rotation if you got confused then this is the final code for smooth rotation of our bone so now let's test it out and now you can see everything works perfect You can always change the speed for your bones rotation over here but I guess 2 is fine. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you have any questions you can comment me below. Do like the tutorial, do comment, do subscribe and also this code is available on my github so you can just go there and check it out and as always have a great day.